वेलकम टू शो न्यू चैनल प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ एल आई सी लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ एल आई सी एल आई सी ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड एल आई सी एग्जीक्यूटिव बोर्ड नाउ फॉर दैट लिंक फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट ऑफ माई एल आई सी लेक्चर इज अवेलेबल इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन वॉच दैट ऑल्सो बट यू कैन वॉच पार्ट वन आफ्टर पार्ट टू ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम इन डैट सो एल आई सी हैज बीन यूजली कंसिडर्ड एज द वाइट नाइट ऑफ द डिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोग्राम वाइट नाइट यू यू मे बी नोइंग दिस वाइट नाइट इट इज मोस्टली फाउंड इन चेस येस यू आर करेक्ट सो दे आर टर्म्ड एज अ वाइट नाइट फॉर ऑफ द डिस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सिंस since it has helped several such offers sell through be it the ntpc stake sales or the sbi mega uh, in 2014 even lic has also massive investment in the uh, initial public offering of companies like hal uh, general insurance corporation of india and new india assurance and lic has helped uh, several other banks uh such as uh, syndicate bank punjab sind bank uh by its uh, by providing preferential treatment uh this is the data of uh, you can see of 2016 uh, that how lic has helped uh so in recent times uh, uh, lic uh, uh, acquired idbi bank uh, let's see what exactly happened uh so on 21st of uh, january 2019 lic completed the acquisition of 51% controlling stakes in idbi bank uh, making it the majority shareholder of the bank of course by 51% it uh, has become the majority shareholder of the idbi bank uh, the cabinet approved the acquisition of controlling stake by lic as a promoter in the idbi bank in august 2018 lic stake will help idbi bank to get capital support of 10000 to 13000 crore in december 2018 uh, the third quarter as per financial year idbi uh, reported a loss of uh, 4185 crore as a bad loan debt so the bank also reported a net loss of 1524 crore rupees in the corresponding quarter of a previous uh, fiscal also the total income decreased to Uh, 6190 crore for the quarter compared with the 7125 crore last quarter of the last uh, fiscal so uh, you can see how idbi bank uh, debt record uh, from the last few year and idbi suffers from some significant financial loss so as promised by idbi banks mds and the ceo of the employees will keep getting the same benefits and enjoy the job security even after the lic get the status of a promoter although the bank may hire only contract based employees in future who will not enjoy the benefit as bestowed on current employees idbi has signed an agreement with lic to act as a corporate agent for the insurer the bank will offer lic policy to its 1.8 crore retail customer through its 1800 branch and receive a commission in return for the same so uh, you can see how uh, this bank uh, will uh, this uh, the kind of uh, bank assure in impact has been signed between idbi and lic so this is why they is called as a idbi bank lic bank assure pact uh, where uh, the bank will uh, will Uh, become the preferred bank for lic premium payment and function as a premium point to boost the sale of a lic product thereby gaining from fees and float income uh, so not only in uh, this idbi bank uh, lic has acquired, acquired uh, means has acquired some uh, stake uh, but in recent time lic has uh, uh, has acquired some stakes in punjab national bank also in december 2017 uh, the lic increased increased its stake in the punjab national bank to 13.93% through qualified institutional placement
also lic has uh, associates also like uh, you can see hfl finance service limited housing finance limited so these are the associates of lic and then uh, the question arises what are the product of lic's so in a broad sense if i uh, say that lic provide uh, four thing first uh, life insurance health insurance investment management and bro uh, mutual fund uh, but in terms of uh, plans uh, they are again uh, uh, they are categorized as endowment plans whole life plan uh, money back plan term insurance plan rider plan uh, so we will see uh, this uh, step by step uh, so in the first part endowment plan uh, this endowment uh, policy is a life insurance contract designed to pay a lump sum after a specific uh, term uh, or on its maturity or on a death uh, typically maturity are about 10 to 15 or sometimes 20 years up to certain limits and some policies are as a payout in the case of a critical illness uh, policies are uh, typically traditional with profit or uh, or unit link also so mainly pension insurance provide many benefits they can be used as a low risk way to save policy holder can choose how many how much to pay each uh, month and how long they want to stay usually uh, for 10, 10 or 20 years so uh, these are uh, some plans uh, you can see g1 uh, pragati g1 lab uh, these are the endowment plan uh, by which you can uh, benefit uh, this uh, in the second plan uh, the whole life plan these are also called as straight life or or sometimes ordinary life plan also uh, it is a life insurance policy which is guaranteed to remain force for the insured entire lifetime provided required premium are paid or to the maturity date uh, as uh, you know as a life insurance it re it uh, represent uh, a contract between the insured and insurer that as long as the contract term are met the insurance uh, insurer will pay the de uh, debt benefit of the policy to the policy beneficiaries uh, when the insured dies because uh, whole life uh, whole life policies are guaranteed to remain in force as long as their required premium are paid uh, and uh, in this premium are typically much higher than those of uh, term life insurance where the premium is fixed only for a limited term so this is all about whole life plan you can see life g1 umang is one of the plan of whole life plan and in the third type uh, that uh, money back plan uh, it is a popular insurance policy uh, it provide a life coverage during the uh, term of policies and uh, the maturity benefit are paid in a installment by way of uh, survival benefit in every five year uh, the plan is available with uh, 20 year and sometimes 25 year also uh, term uh, in the event of death within the policy term the death claim is made up of a full sum assured with uh, deducting any of the survival benefit among already paid the bonus is also calculated on the full sum assured uh, the premium paid is tax deductible under uh, section uh, of uh, uh, that uh, I income tax act of 1961 ATC uh, so this is uh, these are uh, all uh, money back plan life bima shri uh, jivan shri romani uh, new money back plan so this is all about money back plan and in the fourth type uh, term assurance plan this is also called as term insurance plan uh, it, in this uh, life insurance that provide uh, coverage at a fixed rate of payment for a limited period of time uh, after that period expire coverage at the previous rate of premium is no longer guaranteed and the client must either forego coverage or potentially obtain further uh, coverage also with uh, with some different uh, different payment of uh, condition uh, if the life insured dies uh, the, during the term the death uh, benefit will be paid to the beneficiaries and term insurance is, uh, is uh, this term insurance is typically the least expensive way to purchase uh, uh, on a substantial death benefit 
on a coverage uh, uh, in of amount per uh, premium dollar basis over a specific period of time uh, so uh, the uh, term insurance plans like amol g12 amol g12 and e terms are the some policies of uh, of term insurance plan and uh, the fifth type uh, is rider plan rider uh, yeah a rider is a insurance pol policy that add benefit to or amend the term of a basic insurance policy uh, rider provides insured po policies with option uh, uh, such as uh, additional coverage or they even restrict or limit coverage uh, there is an additional cost also uh, to get this uh, 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 and if a party decide to purchase a rider uh, so uh, most are low uh, in cost uh, so these are uh, rider plans uh, rider linked accidental death benefit rider with uh, disabilities accident benefit uh, so these are some additional coverage uh, uh, plan uh, so this is uh, about uh, uh, the categories of uh, lic product uh, uh, so interestingly uh, by all these resources of lic LIC has posted a profit of 26,147 crore in the financial year 2017-2018 uh, which is uh, uh, in the last previous year it was around 20,269.47 crore uh, so in that means it is around 29% net profit growth uh, rate and uh, this is uh, uh, and not only in uh, it, it was uh, in November 2018. LIC recorded a surplus of 48,444 crore in the current fiscal uh, and paid a 2,430 crore dividend to the government for the financial year 2017-2018. Now we will see uh, the claim settlement ratio. Uh, so claim settlement ratio is an indicator of how much debt claim. A life insurance company settled in a in any financial year so basically it is uh, uh, it is calculated as the total number of uh, claims received against the total number of claim settled uh, so yes uh, total number of claims settled uh, to the uh, total number of claim received uh, so suppose a life insurance company received uh, 100 claims and among this uh, it settled 98 uh, so then CSR will be that means claim settlement ratio will be 98 divided by 100 which is 98% uh, uh, so claim settlement ratio is 98% and rest uh, are remaining 2% claim the life insurance uh, company which is rejected these are the rejected and you will be shocked that according to the IRDAI's annual report in FY 2017-18, LIC has settled 98.04% individual death claim. So, according to the LIC, it has settled 215.58 lakh claim amounting to 1,12,700 crore during the financial year 2016-17. So, uh, by this, I want to uh, also mention some interesting fact about LIC uh, so from 1956 to 2000 uh, LIC was the only company for the life insurance business in India and second it is a 100% uh, government owned company therefore the government has given a guarantee to provide the claim amount in in case LIC default LIC is the most significant institutional investor of Indian share market uh, it invests about 50,000 crore every year in the share market LIC is one of the top 10 most trusted brand in India and LIC remain to be dominant life insurer even in the liberal, liberalized scenario of India insurance and is moving fast on a new growth trajectory surpassing its own past record. So thank you for uh, listening. Uh, thank you.